Hi everyone, welcome to the College of Coastal Georgia Facebook Live event. This evening we'll be going over financial aid information um, and the process behind financial aid. While some of this information will be pertinent to um, our rising seniors or students coming for the um, fall 2020 semester, we do want you to know that there is still time to apply and enroll for the fall 2019 semester. There is still financial aid available. Please reach out to us if you have any questions, we'd love to help you enroll. Our application deadline is August 5th and the application fee is waived all the way up until um, that date. So please let us know if you're interested in enrolling for the fall semester. But we'll go ahead and get started. My name is Shane Apps. I'm from Alpharetta, Georgia. Um, I'm our local freshman and dual enrollment admissions counselor and I've been at the college for six very happy years. Hello, my name's Nicole Ransom. I'm actually the financial aid counselor here at the College of Coastal Georgia. I'm actually from this wonderful city of Brunswick, Georgia. I have been working in the financial aid office for eight great years. So today, let's talk about how financial aid works at the College of Coastal Georgia. Here at the College of Coastal Georgia, we have two wonderful counselors here. We have a great staff working behind the scenes to make sure that everyone financial aid is funded properly. We have an associate director and a director in our office. So let's talk about what our students receive here at the College of Coastal Georgia. I will share this with you that 80% of our students receive some type of financial aid here. Either if it's student loans, the federal Pell Grant, the Hope Scholarship, the Zell Miller Scholarship, outside scholarships, and institutional scholarships here at the College of Coastal Georgia, some type of financial aid is awarded to that student. So those things I just mentioned, let's talk about some of those things tonight. So first things first, anytime that you apply to a college or here at the College of Coastal Georgia, we entrust that you make sure that you fill out a FAFSA, which stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. You heard it, keyword free. <laughs> so you can apply for this once a year that will cover you for your first um, year and your remaining years in college. So every single year, you'll log online. It opens up on October the 1st for any new student that's interested in coming here for the next fall. However, if you're a student interested right now coming in for this fall 2019 semester, please make sure you get your FAFSA done now. You can go ahead and get your 2019-2020 FAFSA completed so that we can properly award you and become a mariner. So, what can I get when I fill out a lot of FAFSA? Well, there's a couple of things that you may can qualify for when you complete the FAFSA. You can qualify for free federal funding, which is like grant funding, like your federal Pell Grant, your SCLG grant, your TEACH grant. Um, some students may only qualify for student loans. Some students will use this to qualify for what is called federal work study. Also, some of the scholarships that you actually apply for, some scholarship are, um, companies actually will require you to fill out a FAFSA. So when in doubt, just complete a FAFSA. <laughs> so did you hear me say complete your FAFSA today? Did you hear me say it opens up every year on October the 1st? The earlier the better is the best way to get your FAFSA completed. If you wait to the last minute, you may miss out some of this good free money. So make sure you get it done early. So, still kind of thinking about what school to apply to? Well, let me tell you this. When you complete your FAFSA, you actually can submit up to 10 schools on your FAFSA. So, if you're kind of juggling on which school you really, really want to go to, you can still add those schools and each school will actually receive the information for your FAFSA information. So, here at the College of Coastal Georgia, when we get your FAFSA, we actually will look at the information that you sent to us and you may get what is called an award letter. We will actually email that to you to your student email account and you actually will be able to view and see what we can offer you to help fund your education. When you get that award letter, I will highly suggest that you meet with someone in our office to ask questions, to make sure that everything is looking okay on your account. 
based upon what you're being awarded to you. So, with the Federal Work Study Program, when you complete your FAFSA, that is a great program that is offered to some students who complete a FAFSA. That is where you actually can get a job on campus if qualified for, and actually work and start making money for yourself. You can use that funding to help pay for your book costs or some of your personal costs and other costs associated with your college life. So yes, if you do qualify for federal work study, please stop by our career services and visit with Brian or Thea and they will be happy to assist you with applying for a job on campus. So we also offer veterans benefits which is called the GI Bill. We do have a VA certified official on campus in our financial aid office that will be happy to fund and assist funding with you getting the GI Bill. The GI Bill is a process where you do have to go online and apply for the GI Bill. However, once you receive confirmation that you are eligible for that GI Bill, please stop by our office or contact us and we'll be happy to assist you with that. So, one of the biggest things we're asked about is hope. And is there hope for me? Well, let me tell you guys, there may be hope for you and there also may be some Zell Miller for you. So with the Hope Scholarship, that is a scholarship that is funded by the state of Georgia. The funds actually come in from persons playing the lottery. So if you know your parents playing the lottery, that is helping funding your Hope Scholarship. <laughs> Now, to get the Hope Scholarship is not an easy road for some, but let me tell you this. Graduate with a 3.0 GPA. Complete all your rigor requirements, which your high school counselor will make sure that you're taking the appropriate courses. And once you graduate from high school, your high school will send your final high school transcript to Georgia Student Finance Commission. They will review your high school transcript and say yes or no that you qualify for the HOPE scholarship. Well, how much does HOPE pay? HOPE pays right now about 89 to 90% of your college tuition. So that's a good break in your college tuition if you are um, looking into help find free funding on your account. There's also the Zell Miller Scholarship where those are for my awesome students who make a 3.7 GPA um, coming out of high school, they have a 1200 SAT score, a 26 ACT score in one sitting. And guess what? Zell Miller pays for 100% of your tuition. So the only thing you have to worry about is paying for your additional fees on your account. So I'm going to let my buddy here, Shane, <laughs> explain to you all the importance on getting that high school transcript in to us. So of course, you just heard about all these amazing funds and scholarship opportunities from Nicole. Um, Hope and Zell Miller are just wonderful state scholarships that help our students really go the extra distance towards their degree completion. Uh, but it's so, so important that you also get us your final high school transcript once you graduate from high school so that uh, not only the Office of Admissions, but also financial aid can see that you did graduate and you're going to be coming to us as a new Mariner and so that we can put that um, state aid, either the Hope or Zell Miller, on your account. Um, also, speaking of your high school transcript, I know many of you are taking advantage of the wonderful dual enrollment program here in the state of Georgia, um, whether it's a public, private, or technical college, and that's fantastic. We really want to make sure that we um, give you that credit um, if you're taking any academic-based uh, courses. So please, if you are applying to the College, college Coastal Georgia, whether it is for this upcoming fall semester or a semester in um, the year 2020, that you're also sending us a college transcript from wherever you're taking these dual enrollment classes. Whether well, that class is being taught on your high school campus, it's an online class, or you're physically going to that campus, uh, we will need to see an official college transcript. So please keep that in mind on your checklist when you're applying to um, Coastal Georgia. So I do just wanna take a minute to um, address our students that are looking at fall 2020, maybe our rising seniors that are watching uh, for institu institutional scholarships. So the Foundation Scholarship is uh, the name that we call for our Incoming New Student Scholarship. Um, it will open in October, early October of this year. Um, as soon as you're admitted to the College of Coastal Georgia, you are eligible to apply for our Foundation Scholarship. It's a, a common app, it's just one application. So instead of you having to sift through dozens and dozens of different um, uh, scholarship applications, you just apply once on our scholarship portal. 
um, which is located on the financial aid uh, webpage of our website. Um, you fill out a few um, essay questions, uh, nothing too difficult, no nothing existential, like if you were a tree, what would tree would you be or anything like that. Um, they're pretty straightforward questions and this is your chance to show our scholarship committee um, who you are. Uh, so talking about uh, leadership, service, clubs and organizations that you've been a part of. Uh, we really hope that you take the opportunity to, to brag on yourself a little bit because we'd love to see um, what you have to offer and uh, hopefully you know garner um, interest so that you would be um, awarded a potential scholarship. Um, so the priority deadline for our institutional scholarships will be February 1st of 2020 and then two to three weeks after that um, the first round of scholarships will, will be awarded. Um, you'll receive um, an email. You can also check your scholarship portal to see the status uh, and then you'll be sent an official acceptance letter as well. Um, after that, um, there'll be uh, a deadline at the first of the month, every month until uh, the early part of summer, um, and then two to three weeks after the first of the month, um, the scholarship emails and letters will go out. If you're not awarded in the first uh, award um, session, that is A-OK. -okay. You do not have to do anything. You'll be reconsidered for the next um, award session after that. Um, and we do have um, a scholarship um, person in our office here in enrollment management and student life. Um, so if you do have any questions about institutional scholarships in the coming months, please feel free to reach out to us. All right, so after all these great, wonderful things and opportunities that we have advised you about what happens in our financial aid office, here come the next big question. Well, how much does it really, really cost to attend the College mm -hmm. of Coastal Georgia? Well, let me tell you this big secret. We have been ranked as one of the actual most affordable colleges in the, in the U.S. So, it is very affordable to come to the College of Coastal Georgia. I will tell you our average student is probably looking at about $7,000 a semester to attend our school. And that is our student going full time at 15 credit hours and living in one of our wonderful dorms that we have on campus and enjoying our wonderful food that we have in our Mariners Galley. So yes, the College of Coastal Georgia is very, very affordable. And guess what? We also do border state waivers. So for my students who are surrounding this wonderful state of Georgia, you actually could come here and pay in-state fees. So, if you're thinking about coming to College of Coastal Georgia, just remember, we are very, very affordable, and that's something that may interest you even more because the less money you borrow, the less debt you will be in when you graduate from the College of Coastal Georgia. So, let me tell you how to reach us here at the College of Coastal Georgia Financial Aid Office. We are actually located on campus in the Andrews Center. So if you ever look on our campus map, we are building number five on the campus map. You're welcome to walk in. You're actually also welcome to set up appointments with our financial aid counselors. We usually do those appointments um, on Tuesdays and Fridays. So you can either call our office to set up an appointment or email us at finaid at ccga.edu, that is spelled F-I-N-A-I-D, at ccga.edu. We're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And right now, we're currently running extended hours um, from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if you need to stop by, you've been working an 8 to 5 job, you can stop by on Tuesdays and Thursdays for our extended hours so that you can make sure that everything is done properly. Our phone number to contact us is area code 912-279-5722. And one of our great office representatives will be happy to assist you to make sure that your financial aid journey is perfect. So, we also do accounts on social media too. So please follow us on Instagram, it's CCGA FinAid. We also have a Facebook account, the College of Coastal Georgia Financial Aid Office and Veterans Affairs. So, did we get any questions? We've got a couple questions. All um, right. A little bit of time. So the first one is, what can a student do to ensure they receive their aid package early? So, make sure you get your FAFSA done early. 
make sure you get your application in early so that you are admitted here to the College of Coastal Georgia so that we can tell you exactly what you're going to need to make sure everything's done. So as soon as you see that registration is open to apply here at the College of Coastal Georgia, get it in so that we can get your financial aid package done fast. Uh, here's another question. How do I find out who my financial aid counselor is? Good question. So, as I said prior before, we have two counselors here at the College of Coastal Georgia. Myself, Nicole Ransom, I assist students with the last names ending M through Z. We also have Ms. Susan Bratton. She assists students with last names ending A through L. And then any students that are looking into getting the GI Bill, our VA certified official is Ms. Valeska Carter. Uh, here's another question. Should dual enrollment students complete a FAFSA? Ooh, that's a good question. One that we actually get quite often. So dual enrollment students do not have to submit a FAFSA but each semester they do need to submit the dual enrollment funding application to ensure that their uh, textbook fees and tuition is covered by the state. This can be found on the Georgia Futures website or just GA Futures. Um, an important thing to note is if you are uh, seeking dual enrollment here at the College of Coastal Georgia, once you're admitted, you do not have to keep reapplying to the college itself, but we would ask that you please keep doing the um, funding application each semester to ensure that um, Again, your tuition fees and funding for your textbooks is covered by the state. Okay, here's a question. I think this might be for Nicole. Uh, what do I do if I don't qualify for aid? Well, there is no really you do not qualify for aid. Here at the College of Coastal Georgia, our financial aid experts will make sure we go through everything to ensure that you can qualify for some type of financial aid. So never discourage yourself and say, I think my parents make too much money. Do not put that as a burden to yourself. We will make sure that we can find the best way to help you fund your education. Okay, uh, I think we have time for one last question. All uh, right. Please share one piece of financial aid advice uh, for any rising seniors. Our biggest advice to our rising sen seniors is start early with everything. If you have questions, ask them. But again, start early with your financial aid process. It can start early as October the 1st. And the piece of advice that I would give, um, and this is uh, includes financial aid, but includes all of college, is there are no bad questions when it comes to your education. Mm -hmm. uh, we are invested in your future here at the college. We're a small campus community, um, and we love to serve students. So even if you think, that it, it's a, a silly question or, oh, I don't, I don't wanna bother uh, Ms. Nicole or Mr. Shane with this, we promise you're not. That's a, it, your questions are valid and we wanna make sure that um, every, um, everything that you need to know about uh, the College of Coastal Georgia, financial aid, admissions, academic advising, that we're here to help you with that. So please reach out to us. Uh, my contact information, um, I can be reached at 912-279-5776. Um, you can also um, uh, call our main line at 912-279 5701 and the main admissions account is admis a d m i s s at ccga.edu and again there is still time if any of you that are watching are looking to enroll for the fall semester again our application deadline is august 5th and we are waiving the application fee um, up until that point all right thank you guys for tuning in this evening um, me and shane enjoyed the opportunity to make sure that we give you some awesome information on how financial aid works at the College of Coastal Georgia. You all have a great evening. Thank you so much.